this is my take on a chassis mounted wing for my E36. This is a hard motorsport wing mount with the APR wing. I didn't want to rely on anything fastening to my trunk lid when I did my wing. So I have my own aluminum subframe I made underneath my trunk lid. The, the wing mount is fastened to that. Very solid, doesn't shake. Just took a lot of measurements. Measure from the A pillar, B pillar back to get it as evenly as possible. Use my digital calibers from the chunk jam and other areas to get it as straight and even as possible. So let me take this off. I'll show you how it's fastened and I'll show you my subframe that's underneath. The bottom of my wing mount is attached with four bolts. Here I've taken the two bolts out that attach to the bumper support and I'm removing the other two bolts which attach directly to my subframe which sticks out from the trunk lid. Here all the bolts are removed from the lower part of my subframe and that just leaves the two longer silver bolts up top which attach directly through the trunk lid right to the upper part of my subframe. The lower supports which go to the bumper mount area are from Hard Motorsport. They have slots in them, they're made to be adjustable. Once I had mine perfectly in place, I had them welded solid one piece. So here's my trunk with the wing removed. You can see the holes up top so I could have access to the upper part of my subframe and then the black post sticking out at the bottom from the trunk lid are my lower subframe mounts. And then I still use my factory trunk opening. There's the subframe. I just wanted to show the notch I made at the bottom to go over the lower part of my subframe. Here's the subframe, all 60, 61 aluminum, square tubing. I machine the two cylindrical posts that stick out atop on my lathe. I have a step in them, so each one went in a certain amount and hit the step so they couldn't be welded incorrectly. I don't do any welding, so I took it up to Brett Coho here in Phoenix. He does a great job. You can see here all my speed holes I drilled in the square at the bottom just to save some weight. And then my posts are attached with carbon fiber plates and then Brett welded on some little L-shaped brackets at the bottom of my trunk area. So that's supported there. The square tubing at top is bolted to the trunk jam area. And there it is. The final two pieces I made is this cylindrical spacer which makes up for the thickness of the trunk and then this square piece of aluminum which I bolted to the hard wing mount with the bolt that passes through my spacer all the way into my subframe. And then this just shows you where that cylindrical spacer goes that I machined to make up for the thickness of the trunk. That way I get two attachment points to the subframe. And here it is back on. It takes me a little less than five minutes to get it off, a little less than five minutes to get it back on, but I'm not getting groceries in this thing. <laughs>